Hey out there, this is Buzz with the Survival Buzz. So uh, I'm kind of experimenting with some composting ideas here and I figured I'd let you guys see. I'm gonna do kind of a time lapse and come back to this video here in a few weeks and put it all together for you. But uh, I've recently in my chicken run, I've been dumping fresh grass clippings and now I'm mixing hay and Berkashi in with it. And I have a, I, a video where I talk about Berkashi. I'll put a link uh, right here in the video so you can go back to that if you're interested. But uh, Here's what it looks like. And it's just grass clippings and straw. And then of course, the Burkashi. So I'll come back to this video and show you what it's like here in a few weeks after it's set and been ran through with the chickens. All right, so day two of my little composting experiment here with the grass and straw. And some bokashi I threw in there. And having it lay flat, you know, with the chickens working through it, the top layer is drying out real bad. And then uh, toward the bottom, you know, it's matting up and stuff because there's so much green material. And I knew I had not enough carbon. I was going to add some more, but... It was way not enough. So I mixed some uh, wood shavings in with it, made it into two piles while their runs closed for the night. I wet it down real good, let it sit overnight. And of course, we'll come through here tomorrow and uh, knock it all down. But as you can see, out of about six wheelbarrows full of material, um, I ended up with about two wheelbarrows full after just one day. So that gives you an idea of really how much material you need to uh, do this sort of thing but uh just showing you after day two what i wound up with and i will check back in with you here in a few days all right so here we are five days in now i don't know if you can see how big that is it's a good foot tall couple piles going here and like i said i raked this up every day into a pile yesterday i didn't the the chickens actually left most of it piled up it was getting really hot it's basically cooking it's composting uh, but they knocked it all down today so I kind of uh, mixed it up a bit sprayed it down real good and now I'm gonna add some more of this Bakashi into it and uh, mix it up again pile it up spray it down and it'll be ready for them to uh, go through again tomorrow this is day five and it's, it's looking pretty good let me see if I can give you a good look at this here so you can see it's breaking down pretty quick with them going through it so yeah that's what it's looking like so it's been a month now to the day and uh, my little experiment I got going in my chicken run here um, is complete for now um, I kind of learned a lot doing this like I said the first few days this got matted down pretty well. Uh, I needed to add more carbon, so I added an entire bag of wood shavings, along with probably, I'd say, a third of a bale of straw, um, a pound of bakashi, and then, uh, I don't know, all together, probably five wheelbarrows full of just grass in here. Um, and then for the first couple weeks, I raked it all up every night after the chickens ran through it and composted. I raked it up into a pile, wet it down, raked it up into a pile, wet it down night after night. Did that for two weeks. And then after that, I pretty much let it go aerobic and set for two weeks. All I did was come out here every evening and hose it down and let the chickens have their way with it basically. Um, which worked out all right, but I did lose quite a bit of uh, compost soil in the process because it got matted down so well on the bottom because all the the water ran through it was it's so dry and hot here it's 108 today so it, it dried out and matted down really quick but uh if you look this is what i ended up with after only one month it's been one month to the day there's a few pieces of uh, grass the chickens got a hold of outside the run but other than that i mean that's pretty much ready to put in the garden i'll probably let it go a few more weeks but uh that's how quick you can do it so uh, let me get this all raked up and see what we ended up with. All right, so here's what I ended up with. It's, if I had to say, I know it's hard to tell on camera, but 
probably about eight cubic foot of soil, um, which if you had to buy that from the store, you're looking at 35, 40 bucks, depending on where you go for that much soil. All in all, with the straw, the wood chips, um, the bakashi, I probably got 10 or 12 dollars invested in this. Um, so you can see how that can save quite a bit of money, especially with how, you know, I do this every season. Uh, everything is more and more expensive, even soil. Uh, so it's very beneficial. Even though these videos don't get as many views as my other videos, I find it important to do them just for, even if there's only a few people that actually get something from this. Stuff like this is going to be crucial in the future. It may not be super tactical and sexy, but if you want to grow stuff in the future and survive and, and provide for your family, one place to start is you're going to have to have soul to do it. And there may come a time where you, you won't be able to afford soul just simply to try to keep food on the table and uh, the electric on in the house. So as always, like, subscribe. Uh, if you like this channel, you want to help this channel out, there's ways to do that down in the description box. And I will catch you guys on the flip side. Later.